this is a little old store here on the side. Anyway, this old lady here loved to pick flowers off the, off the yard out there and go home and take them back. But that's me and my grandmother right there. Mm. She used to go have, have her money. She had a pocketbook, right? Mm -hmm. But she never carried the money in the pocketbook. She would put him up, put the money up there in a chair, see, in her bra. And, and it wasn't but 75 cents, but it, you could buy so much with that. Mm -hmm. Pepsi Cola wasn't but uh, 8 cents. You know, you can get sardine, a can of sardine, about 3 cents. So that was cheap back then. So 75 cents. Went a long way. Long way. <laughs> and she had people, you know, looking around and, and, and telling you how you're doing today, you know. And that was the only little store right there. You could hear the flow squeaking in it. Little pine flowing. Had a little cooler going over there in the corner, you know. Is this an order? that old rusty car park up that Michael Peter drove something look like that. What town is this? Cameron. Used to call it Calhoun County. And on Saturday, I mean, this town is practically now a ghost town. But but when I was a little girl on Saturday night, Friday night, man, it was people standing all on the street. Over 49 Chevrolet. And some of them had tea models. And drive up there, and you get a cone of ice cream for a nickel. So, so... And, and it, you know, it wasn't spoiled kids then either. Everybody's mom and daddy parked that car. You sat there and wait till they come back and bring you something. If you got anything. You was just glad to get a ride. Because then when I was living with my grandmother, guess what? We had two mules and a wagon and went to town. And I was so skinny until my grandmother told me, said, move over, sweetie. It's, a, it's a, a space in this wagon back here. You might fall through. We go into town with two mules. Guess what? They're doing about 35. And in my mind, it seemed like it was 55. Riding in that wagon. Just me back there, you know? I had to leave Brick at home, and I cried. I didn't want to leave my dog. I wanted him to go with us, but he couldn't. 